Have you ever wondered how Kubernetes handles massive traffic without breaking a sweat? Well, the secret source behind this magic is none other than the load balancer. This essential tool is the unsung hero that ensures the smooth running of applications by managing the distribution of network traffic across multiple servers. Imagine a bustling city during rush hour. The traffic is heavy and without a proper system in place, chaos would ensue. In the world of Kubernetes, that's where the load balancer comes into play. It's like the traffic controller of the network, directing data packets efficiently to prevent any grid locks or bottlenecks. It ensures that no single server is overwhelmed with requests, maintaining a balanced load across all servers. Whether you're deploying a small-scale application or managing a sprawling complex system, the load balancer in Kubernetes is fundamental to your operations. Without load balancer, Kubernetes would struggle to efficiently distribute network traffic, leading to potential system overloads. A load balancer is more than just a traffic cop. It's the heart of efficient network traffic management in Kubernetes. Let's start with a simple explanation. Picture a load balancer as a traffic officer standing at the crossroads of a busy city. The officer's job is to direct incoming traffic, making sure that each road doesn't become too congested. But instead of roads, we have servers, and instead of cars, we have network traffic. In the Kubernetes world, the load balancer works in a similar way. It takes incoming network traffic and distributes it across multiple servers or pods. This distribution is not random though. The load balancer smartly allocates the traffic based on various factors, such as the current load on each server, its performance, and its availability. So, why is this important? Well, imagine a scenario where a single server is bombarded with all the network traffic. It's like a single road handling all the traffic in a city. Stressful, right? Over time, this server may become overwhelmed affecting the performance and availability of the applications it hosts. This is where the load balancer steps in. By distributing the traffic evenly across multiple servers, it ensures that no single server is overwhelmed. It's like having multiple roads to handle the city's traffic, reducing congestion and ensuring a smoother journey for everyone. Furthermore, in the event of a server failure, the load balancer quickly redirects traffic to other available servers. This redundancy ensures that your applications remain available and reliable, even in the face of unexpected server downtime. The load balancer also plays a pivotal role in scalability. As your application demands grow, you can simply add more servers to the pool, and the load balancer will automatically start directing traffic to them. It's like adding more roads to handle increasing traffic in a city. So, the load balancer is a crucial component in maintaining an efficient and robust Kubernetes environment. It's not just a traffic cop. It's a smart, dynamic and indispensable part of your Kubernetes architecture. Whether you're dealing with a small town's worth of network traffic or a bustling metropolis, the load balancer is there to keep things running smoothly. Now that we've understood the concept, how do we check the status of a load balancer in Kubernetes? Well, it's quite straightforward. You can use the Kubectl command line interface, which is a powerful tool in the Kubernetes ecosystem. To check the status of a load balancer, we use the command kubectl get services. This command will list all the services running in your Kubernetes cluster, including the load balancer. Now, in the output of this command, you'll see various columns. The name column represents the name of the service. Type signifies the type of service which in our case should be load balancer. Cluster IP and external IP are the internal and external IP addresses of the service, respectively. The ports column indicates the port at which the service is running, and age tells us how long the service has been running. If you want more detailed information about a specific load balancer, you can use the command kubectl describe service replace with the name of your load balancer. This command provides more comprehensive details, including the events associated with the service. This commands not only allow you to monitor the status of your load balancer, 
but also help you troubleshoot any issues that might occur. Remember, regular checks are essential for maintaining a healthy and efficient network traffic flow. With these commands, you can keep a close eye on your load balancer and manage your network traffic more effectively. Load balancer, as we've seen, is a key player in Kubernetes. It's an invaluable tool managing traffic flow and ensuring smooth operations within your Kubernetes environment. We've dived into its significance, uncovered its role, and navigated through the process of checking its status. Understanding the load balancer is like having a roadmap to Kubernetes, providing guidance and direction. Remember, every bit of knowledge takes you closer to mastering Kubernetes. So, don't stop here. Mastering the load balancer is a significant step towards mastering Kubernetes. Keep exploring, keep learning.